Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is caught up in controversy after a photo surfaced of him wearing blackface. In a press conference Thursday, the Prime Minister said he was deeply sorry. But with the country's election just five weeks away, political opponents have seized on the scandal. Jerika Duncan reports. This uh, is something that obviously uh, I deeply regret and I never should have done. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau faced a barrage of questions about images of him dressed in blackface, including this latest video released by Global News. The video appears to show Trudeau wearing dark makeup as he raises his hands in the air and smiles for the camera. Darkening your face, uh, regardless of the context or the circumstances, is always unacceptable. But because pressed hard by reporters, history. Trudeau would not say exactly how many times he's worn blackface. More than Next three question. times, more Next than question. three times, yes or Next no, question. sir. More than three times, yes Next or no. Question. Yesterday, when confronted about this photo taken in 2001, Trudeau admitted it was him and apologized. He also recalled one other time in high school that he dressed in blackface but never mentioned any video. The son of one of the country's most popular prime ministers acknowledged he grew up privileged. I now need to acknowledge that that comes with a massive blind spot. As leader of Canada's governing Liberal Party, Trudeau built his reputation on supporting diversity. His first cabinet had a record number of minorities and an equal balance of men and women. Election Day in Canada is a little over four weeks from today. Now, Trudeau is facing demands from his main rival that he step down. Well, before the controversy, the race was close. Tanya, now it may be even closer. Jerika Duncan, thank you. Salima Shivji is a senior reporter for the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, and she joins me now from Ottawa. Salima, thank you so much for joining us. I mean, Trudeau, as we saw there, faced some tough questions from reporters in that press conference Thursday. What was your takeaway from it? Well, it was interesting. It was a second expanded apology, really a, a move to sort of adjust the tone from Prime Minister Trudeau, the Liberal leader, who was really trying to fill in the blanks that were left from some questions unanswered at the first time he responded to this late last evening, really a hastily organized uh, response on, aboard his campaign plane, because, of course, the Liberal campaign team is in scramble mode, in damage control. This has certainly derailed their re-election plan. So uh, Justin Trudeau actually had no morning events to prepare for today's comments. And as you heard in that report, he came out hard with the idea that he deeply regrets this. He asked Canadians for forgiveness, particularly from the people that he says he hurt by appearing in this photo and uh, other photos in uh, three incidents, basically saying that he knows that he hurt them, that uh, the people that saw him as an ally, and that he is sorry. But where he faltered and hesitated it is really the parts that are grabbing those headlines, where he was asked how many times times that he has done this. He paused. He hesitated. He couldn't say definitively uh, because he couldn't remember. So forgetting how many times you have worn blackface is a bit of a problem when you say you now know it's racist and you wish you hadn't done it. Didn't really have an answer for that. Uh, he pivoted to, you know, saying he comes from a place of privilege. Uh, you know, uh, this is uh, a massive blind spot. I need to acknowledge that. He also tried uh, to explain why he never brought this up in the 20 years since the, the incident the photo was taken, he says it's because he was embarrassed by it. Not sure how Canadians will react to, to that answer, you know, not bringing this up when you know this is in your past. Also, did he ever address exactly why wearing blackface is offensive? No, he didn't have a good answer for that either. You know, he said, we have a lot of things in our past that people wonder, oh, why did I do that? Why did I do that? I regret it. And then he pivoted again to the deep regret. And and and. But, but what was interesting and the adjustment from the first response is that he did talk about the hurt mm -hmm. that this can cause in minority groups. And that was really the, the purpose uh, for him to communicate that today. That was clearly what his team had said. Mm -hmm. Th they know this will hurt him. This can hurt him. Him, uh, significantly, but they are trying to stick with that that line that I uh, that I am very sorry. I ask you for forgiveness. I recognize that this is hurtful right. now. So here in the U.S., we've seen many incidents, unfortunately, where public figures have been asked to answer for past displays of racist behavior, such as wearing blackface. But has this come up in Canada before? And if so, how do these situations typically play out there? 
Well, uh, we have, of course, less of a history of blackface, but it is present here, and it is, of course, uh, offensive here as well. There have been some incidences, you know, a, a police officer uh, was uh, uh, found in photos having used blackface 11 years prior. She was forced to apologize with an apology letter. There was a, a Quebec uh, a news media organization where one of the actors disguised in blackface uh, about 10 years ago. Uh, so a couple of incidences, but never something of this magnitude with a politician of this stature, mm -hmm. you know, a, a prime minister in the middle of an election campaign and a, and a hard-fought election campaign. So, so we've not seen anything like this here. Well, as we're discussing, Trudeau is clearly getting a lot of negative attention right now. But is this really the kind of issue that's likely to cause Canadians to change their minds about voting for him? Well, look, here's the thing, and here's the main problem with this. Justin Trudeau has always positioned himself as that champion of diversity. He has built up this, this image and this reputation, you know, that he is tolerant, inclusive, always ready to defend those minority groups uh, and their rights, you know as you heard, made it a point of appointing a diverse cabinet, uh, a prime minister who, in response to some of President Trump's, uh, you know, reactions, such as, you know, telling some congresswomen to go back home, a prime minister who responded, that's not how we do things in Canada. Mm -hmm. And now we see these photos. Uh, so it, it's hard for some voters, and it will be hard for some voters, to reconcile that image of the prime minister as a defender of minority groups when this is uh, um, clearly something that he has said is yeah. racist that he didn't understand was racist right. back when he was 29 years old. Not so young, not an elected official at the time, but not, but not a you know, teenager either. Just a teenager. Yeah. Exactly. So you know, this will really hurt with those young urban voters that came out in droves to vote for Justin Trudeau last time around and really propelled him to power. And those are the voters he needs to show up again when this race is so tight. He's really neck and neck. So this could very much hurt him uh, in those areas. Uh, although there are some people who will just say, well, you know what? We're all young. It was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. uh, he has apologized. Uh, we can perhaps forgive him. It remains to be seen, and the next few days will be crucial. Uh, uh, yes, and of course, though, this is not the only controversy he's facing. What other scandals have dogged his campaign so far? Yeah, it's important to point that out as well, and that's the, sort of the reason that he, uh, his liberals are, are neck and neck with the Conservative Party in this election this time around. It is quite close, and it's some of those scandals are uh, of Trudeau's own own doing. There are some broken promises uh, from 2015. He promised to change our electoral system, did not do that. Uh, you know, he bought a pipeline while trying to say he's fighting climate change. So, so there's a, a bit of controversy there. Uh, but an embarrassing trip to India also made headlines. Uh, but there's also so uh, mainly the scandal this past winter, which was were allegations that he and his staff pressure the former attorney general to give uh, SNC Lavalin engineering firm a sweet deal and, and have them avoid a corruption trial. So those allegations really burst on the scene in winter, hurt the prime minister, and you saw his uh, popularity tumble in the polls. Uh, but he had since recovered a little bit and, and brought the 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 in the polls his party back neck and neck with the conservative. Party. Party. So with this falling at this time in the election campaign, uh, you know, it just it just adds on to the other things that pe are perhaps causing voters to think twice about voting for Justin Trudeau a second time ar around. So uh, another hurdle for the Liberal Party to, to sort of get through as, as they're scrambling to contain this. Uh, you know, there are a, a few weeks left in this campaign. We'll see what happens. But but clearly a really bad note, this, a, a real bombshell that has derailed uh, the election campaign. Thank you so much, Salima Shivji in Ottawa. We really appreciate it. You're welcome.